Every now and again, simple experiments readily present themselves that demonstrate beyond any doubt major news media bias and propaganda by way of omission. Why are news media once again covering up the campaign to end child sex slavery and prostitution? On this edition of the Memory Hole Blog Report. A few weeks ago, Tim Tebow, the renowned college and professional athlete and best-selling author, announced his donation of $100 million to help fight human trafficking, a euphemism for child sex slavery and prostitution. Those practices made better known by the likes of Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. And uh, that's why I'm grateful to be here. That's why I'm grateful for all of you that are here and all of the work that you have done. Um, I truly am so grateful um, because for, for me and for me and my wife, this isn't um, an eight to five, a nine to five. This is a calling. It's a calling because we believe it's the greatest form of evil in the world today because there are 40 million people around the world that need us. The event, complete with a press conference featuring Tebow, his wife, Attorney General William Barr and first daughter Ivanka Trump received very little coverage or comment in deep state media. This despite the fact that the star athlete's heartfelt devotion to the human trafficking cause is clearly a story that would generate abundant interest among the U.S. public. Perhaps this is the exact reason apparent editorial decisions have been made to suppress news of Tebow's generosity. It would not be extravagant to conclude that major news media, and more specifically their ultra-wealthy owners, are in fact preventing the public from recognizing the extent and gravity of the child sexual abuse problem, and are thus, at the very least, ipso facto implicated in what can only be described, alongside abortion, as an ultimate evil. Demonstrating the media's bias and dishonesty in this regard is not a difficult task. For example, in June 2020, basketball legend Michael Jordan committed an equivalent amount, $100 million, to quote-unquote racial justice organizations over the course of 10 years. Jordan's munificence received a flood of news coverage amidst loud praise and accolades across an array of major media outlets. Cursory Google searches of each philanthropic event reveals how Tebow's contribution to address human trafficking received roughly seven times fewer news hits than Jordan's support of the racial justice cause much of which has been revealed as a Trojan horse for Marxist communist revolution in the United States. It is worth noting that such limited coverage of the Tebow Trump administration's alliance is but an accent on the news media's overall suppression of the administration's accelerated campaign against child sex slavery and prostitution. The takeaway from such sleight of hand is that Once again, public attention must at all costs be redirected from the unspeakable crimes of an international elite and their enablers. Such misdirection and deceit make the fake news media once again complicit in another vast crime against humanity. If you like what we're doing in these videos, please consider becoming a Patreon of MHB at Patreon slash Memory Hole. For MemoryHoleBlog.org, this is James Tracy.